Well, the Cardano FUD has been real lately, and uh, let's talk about it because it's kind of the elephant in the room right now when it comes to ADA and Cardano. And I want to give you guys my honest opinions and my honest thoughts about where we are right now, the price of Cardano, where my exit strategies are. And I'm just going to be very, very blunt with you guys in this video. And that's what you're going to get on this channel. I'm going to bring it to you raw, real, unfiltered, and just give you guys my thoughts and opinions. So when I start, when I first started investing in Cardano back in 2021, we started accumulating quite a bit of ADA uh, around the 20 cents mark. And of course, during this bear run, we came back down to like 24, 23 cents, mostly 25 cents. And we've accumulated a good sized position there. And when it comes to Cardano, I'm still close to being in the profit here, even with the price coming down to 49 cents. But I'm a little upset with myself that I didn't take profits when Cardano hit all-time highs back in 2021. I've learned from those mistakes and I've got my exit strategies in place now for ADA. And here's the thing, I've got a lot of Cardano and I'm betting big on Charles Hoskinson. But at the same time, there are so many other things happening in crypto where I feel as if sometimes that money could be making me more money while I'm waiting for Cardano to do all of their various upgrades and come to market and actually grow the blockchain. The blockchain is growing, don't hear me wrong, but is it growing as fast as we would like? Is it gaining the amount of exposure that we thought it would from back in 2021? Well, so far, it's been a little underwhelming. I mean, quite frankly, and this is coming from somebody who believes in Cardano. Now, it's not to say I'm ready to sell all my Cardano, I'm just ready to profit on Cardano. And I'm hoping that Cardano reaches somewhere between five to seven dollars in this bull run. And those are where my exit strategies are this cycle. And full disclosure, I'm gonna be exiting fully out of Cardano at the top of this cycle. And I'm gonna be watching closely to see what exactly happens on their blockchain. Not so much with the price, because I think the price will naturally go up with the rest of the market. But I want to see what development happens and what these upgrades actually bring to the table. Speaking of upgrades, Cardano is getting ready to release a new major network upgrade for the ecosystem. And this one is going to be the Chang hard fork. And this is a big one, guys. This development was brought to light in IOG's uh, most recent weekly report, which highlights developments in progress made in the Cardano ecosystem. As stated in the report, Cardano Lightweight Wallet Lace was released uh, recently, which features updates such as a much simpler onboarding user experience that reduces the time required for wallet creation, recovery, and hard wallet onboarding. Other changes include a revamped dApp wallet interface, enhanced stacking views with sorting options, and a better search and a revamped stake pool. So this is all great, right? But at the end of the day, we want to see growth on the blockchain. And I got to give it to Charles Hoskinson. He's not pushing back. He's, he's, not, he's not just sitting there, right, and taking this. He's pushing back and telling people why he still believes what they're building is special. And I still believe him. But I am ready to profit from my Cardano investment. And in this cycle, I'll be doing that. And then I'll be buying back in in the bear market. And I'm going to be doing this with a lot of altcoins, guys. A lot of altcoins. But right now, I'm also placing a lot of bets on a lot of other blockchains that I think still has a lot of potential and a lot of growth in this bull cycle. So I have a lot of patience with Cardano. And I feel like you have to because it kind of tends to run on its own. And it's much slower oftentimes than the rest of the market. So I think if you're holding Cardano, one of the things that I would say that I'm doing, and maybe you can learn from this as well, is really have a thought out strategy and a plan to take profits in this bull cycle. And maybe your strategy or plan is similar to mine, where you'll sell everything and then buy back in the bear market. I wish I had done that back in 2021 when we hit all time highs. I still could have built a really strong position and actually lowered my average cost ahead of this new bull cycle. But you guys know how it is. When you're in a bull run, you feel as if it's going to go up forever. And it was my first bull run, bull market. Like I, I had to learn by trial and error. And that's kind of my thoughts right now. I still believe in Hoskinson. 
I still believe in the Cardano protocol. I still believe in the DeFi ecosystem that they've built, but I'm ready to see it come to fruition. I'm ready to see the growth in this bull cycle. And I'm ready to make profits on my ADA investments. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. I appreciate you guys for watching. And for all the Cardano FUD out there, there are still a ton of Cardano backers and this community, in my opinion, is still as strong as ever. So don't listen to the noise. Just create your plan, create your strategy. Don't let people shake you out. Don't let people ruin what you have in store for your portfolio. I appreciate you guys for watching. Check out all the links down below. If you guys want to trade using my CoinW link, you can trade Cardano. You can also do it on Margex if you're a leverage trader and Bybit. All of those links are down below and there's unbelievable givebacks to you when you use my links down below. I appreciate you guys. Ada, fam, we'll see you in the next one.